People deluded, I'm back again. I hope you're all doing well and safe. Make sure you like, you like, comment and subscribe at all points during this video when your thoughts come across. Especially the likes, people. You lot have been disgracing me in that regards lately. But moving forward, Hector Bellerin. Now, you know, he's one of them names at Arsenal. I keep saying this. It seems like there's quite a few names, but you either get angry or happy. My thoughts are, you know, I like Hector Bellerin. I do think he's stagnated. I do think I want to see a bit more consistency, but I do think we can use him. Equally, if he was to leave this club, I'm not going to cry. I, I want him to stay, but I recognise, you know, people need to go. And I think if Maitland Niles really buys into the fullback business, there could be something there. You know, if, if Maitland Niles buys into it and, and keeps playing well, and you've got Cedric who could be a competent backup, then Bellerin going for €30 million Euros or so to PSG is comfy. I know you, there is a legit case to say sell Maitland. There is a case to say, you know, it should be Maitland and Bellerin. Suarez shouldn't be here. That's neither here nor there. You know, Bellerin, what I like about Bellerin is his courage, his courage to be himself. You know, in a day and age where it's almost unhealthy, it's, it's a gift and a curse, the amount of access we have to footballers and the inability to turn off. Yes, they get paid a crap load of money and all these things people say, but you can't turn off really. You know, everybody knows your life, you go out, everybody's seen people tracking planes, you know, social media, you have a bad game, people are still reminding you a week from then, you get it, people. People forget that you're human, so you can never turn off. It's a great gift and a curse. And what I like about Bellerin is, you know, I might have all my, I might praise him for his for his football, and I might have legitimate criticisms on 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 how he plays on the field. But off the field, as long as he's not, you know, putting the club in bad light or moving a bit mad, I don't care how he carries on. He's a he's a footballer. Football is your life, and football is a large part of your day. But it's important to switch off. It's important to have other interests. And this is coming from me. Like I'm not a professional footballer, but I don't really have interests other than football. And I think that's a bad thing. So when I see people with passions and stuff, whether that's to make incomes, whether that's you know just a passion, whether that's a, a form of therapy, which footballers fail, fail to understand. Footballers need therapy sometimes. And in the same way, certain people say music is therapy. The, the several channels that Bellerin pursues off the field could be his. I like how he's not afraid to be himself. Many players could would curl into a ball when you're seeing focus on football. You know, his diet is criticised, whether that's legitimate or not. He's never afraid to be, you know, speak about human rights and stuff going on in society. You know, he's clearly a big fashionista with some of the clothes he wears that looks a bit funky, of course. You know, he's always talking about um, global warming and also his business interests. And I'm sure you've all seen, you know, he's announced that he's become a shareholder in League Two side Foreign Screen Rovers. Now, for me, what I like about that is Hector Bellerin. I don't know his level of support. I don't know how much finance is. But for me, just the fact of a professional footballer in the Premier League is raising awareness to League Two sides. I, I, I want to see League Two sides supported properly and I want to see teams below them supported properly. Because that's the purest of the level of the game. So I think putting spotlight on that is good. Grassroots football is good, especially with this COVID um, stuff going on as well. It's a bit irrelevant, but I think Harry Kane is a bit different and irrelevant. But I think EE -E, um, is technically Leighton Orient's sponsor. So I like to see people in positions being able to help when they can. Again, it's clearly of mutual interest. If he's a shareholder, you know, you're hearing Forest Green are doing things, you know, they're called Forest Green and they're doing things to become one of the greenest football clubs in the world. So that's of interest to Bellerin. Obviously, if Bellerin's a, a, a shareholder of the club, there's also marketing opportunities that come with match days and there's also passive income opportunities and things like that. So there's many reasons as to probably why he did that. But in The Athletic, he said he revealed... He has taken a, min a minority holding in the club, nestled in Cotswold, to help support and develop their environmental and ethical innovations. Under Chairman Del Vince, Forest Green have been recognised by FIFA as the greenest football club in the world. In 2015, they became the, f the world's first vegan club, serving plant-based food to fans and, and players alike. More recently, the United Nations certified them as the first carbon neutral football club. And again, you know, that seems like, the, you know, that's more for Bellerin than Arsenal in a sense. You know, Bellerin loves saving the world and Greenpeace and stuff. This is the club for him to be at. You know, the cynic in me, if I'm Bellerin, of course I'm doing this for a natural reason. But if I'm Bellerin and I've got the money Bellerin's had naturally, you know, I'm trying to invest in whether it's the things that Flamini does and try and push it through my club here. Whether it's certain vegan products you hear, they serve plant-based products. 
can I get, you know, can I invest in a, in a startup that does food? And then I can trial it in my club and do several things with them sort of products. So I do think, you know, Bellerin's a smart businessman. He's got several businesses and has been since he started becoming a footballer. So I think there's some marketing opportunities with this as well as obviously him wanting to help, help the world. Obviously, you lot know he follows a vegan diet and is, an, and is a passionate advocate for sustainability and social responsibility. He said, Dell has revolutionised has revolutionized that, that football club. They're vegan, they're eco-friendly, they have a neutral carbon footprint. They're a clear example of how to run a football club in our times. So I wanted to be part of it and offer my help to them in whichever way I could. Bellerin's investment is permitted by the FA as his shareholding is below the threshold at which it would be deemed a conflict of interest. He does not expect to be immediately involved in the day-to-day -day running of the club, but will collaborate with them on a number of projects in coming years. He said... I just felt it was the right thing to start a relationship, says the 25-year-old. I'm going to help bring awareness to what they're doing, help marketing, help in, help in PR and help create a network. I wanted to help in any way I could. They're a massive example and they're in League 2. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. Imagine they get to the championship or something. It feels good to feel part of their family. Um, yeah, man, and Bellerin, an interesting part as well, he said, I used to get a lot of stick for stuff I was doing off the pitch. I felt I just included that statement because it, it did make me chuckle because he did. He said, I've always said that doing my stuff off the pitch is something that recharges and helps me play. You always hear about these athletes that are so obsessive about the game, like Michael Jordan. I was thinking, am I the, player who, am I the only football player who feels like this? It was great to see this is what happens for so many people. We can broaden the picture of a footballer. We're not just goals and cars and houses. We all have a passion away from the game. And I'm not talking about making clothes or playing an instrument. I'm talking about something deeper. I'm talking about the injustices of the world we live in nowadays. And when you see what Rashford is doing when he's not playing, when you hear Bellerin, when you see Troy Deeney and Callum Wilson helping out at food banks and all of these sort of things. And there's many examples. Jordan Henderson, you know, no matter how much money and trophies he wins, he's never going to forget that he's a working class man at heart now from Sunderland. And, you know, Christmas, he's a good example. He's always making sure he gets little toys and gadgets for the... Um, disadvantaged and you know club supporters and just helping in any way he can sort of thing and it's lovely to see footballers they're always told stick to football and stick to what you know forgetting that they're human that they reflect society that they are part of society and in the grand scheme of things football there's very few things that are more important than football but society is and it mirrors it so when you're in opportunities to make a difference and do something sustainable and do something beyond you know no disrespect to people that have clothing brands and things like that they're equally as important but you know when you've got something like sustainability for the world or cure trying to cure illnesses or these sort of things there yeah you should be jumping at it so big up bellerin for that and he also said I'm a big believer that every situation, negative situation, sorry, brings a positive one somehow. It's very hard to talk about positivity in this situation because many people lost people in their family, but I think the pandemic also did that. It's true that we're not meant to live life as we're living it, waking up at 6am in the morning and going straight into your emails, into your phone, and not even paying attention to your children while you're having breakfast because you're so busy thinking about the next meeting. So many people have told me that working from home has made them appreciate things differently. They're getting to know their children. One physio that I know, he was saying he couldn't connect with his son. It was very hard for him to understand him and stuff. Then after one week of lockdown, he was like, we're best mates. And he did also, yes, he went, he, he touched on a couple of things of that nature and he touched on other footballers doing good things in the community as well. And, you know, Hector Bellerin might not even be an Arsenal player beyond this, but I like to see people doing their bit in positions they can to try and make a difference in the way they see fit. So, yeah, man, congratulations to Bellerin for that. I know many people will get angry at the fact that he's doing this, but, you know, it is what it is and, you know, their opinion don't really matter to Bellerin, neither does mine. He's going to do what he needs to do, rightly so. On that topic though, I'm out of here. Like I said, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Until we meet again, I'm out man.